Hello and welcome to another filter grade tutorial. My name is Layden and in this quick video I'm going to show you how to mask in Final Cut Pro. Now masking is a super useful tool if you like to apply a color grade to a specific targeted area of your image, another element on top or behind your video layer. So here I am in Final Cut Pro, I've got a timeline all set up. It's just one clip of a rocky cliff side through the bars of a bridge. So the first masking technique I'm gonna show you is the color grade mask. So make sure you have your inspector tab open by hitting this button in the top right corner here. Now I'm gonna go over to my effects browser right here, click that. I'm gonna drop my color corrector on top of this clip here. Now the color corrector effect has been added. So all you gotta do is go in and hit this arrow for the color board. And let's just do some simple adjustments here. Darken the shadows a bit, brighten the highlights, and then we'll go over to saturation, saturate the midtones a bit. Let's give it some split toning here. Warmer highlights, colder shadows. Okay, so there we go. Now go back to your inspector tab and beside the color correction one, there's this little box with a square inside of it. If you click this, this, this gives you the option to create a color mask or a shape mask. We're gonna use a shape mask today. This is the most common type of mask. Click that and it's going to automatically create a circle which you can manipulate and make it larger. You can adjust the feather by clicking the outer ring, changing the dimensions with the top and bottom arrows. And if you'd like to make this a square mask, all you have to do is click the white bubble and you can drag it to the left and that will turn it into a square or you can make it kind of a soft rectangle an oval. This one I'm going to turn into a square. I'm going to try to fit it with inside these bars just to kind of help the viewer focus on what's between the bars rather than the outside. So if you go back over to your inspector and you click on the enable on-screen controls, the mask will go away and show you your effect. So the next technique I'm going to show you is adding another layer then masking it to integrate two separate clips. So I chose this clip because it has the bars of the bridge here which you can use as a foreground element to separate the background. So I have another clip here of a mountain, more of a cold snowy scene. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop that right into there. You're gonna to wanna to put this on top of your layer. Click on that clip that you just dropped. And in the inspector tab, bring down the opacity. Now the reason we're doing this is so we can actually see the bars underneath and create the mask by adding points. So back down under your effects browser, you wanna go down under the video effects to where it says masks. Click on this and you can do a draw mask, graduated mask, shape mask, vignette, image. I'm gonna choose the draw mask. That way I can be more accurate and click to add control points. So. Like I said, I'm going to use the bars as kind of a frame. So click the top left down to the bottom, get those points, click there. And then once you're done, click back to there. And once you've got your points selected, you can fine tune them a bit better and go back over to your inspector and turn your opacity back all the way up. I'd recommend kind of adding a subtle little feather just because the edges of the bars are actually kind of blurred if you look on this side here. So adding a feather will kind of help make this look a bit more realistic. As you can see, this footage is not completely stable and it kind of pans and moves at that point right there. So I'm actually gonna cut it off before it starts to move a whole lot. Hit B, trim clip right there, back to A, delete that. Now you can still kind of see the edges and this is moving a little bit. So I'm gonna find a point where my mask is perfect and lined up. So right there is good. Make sure you click on your video clip and under the draw mask section of the inspector tab, you wanna open up the transforms. What this does is allows you to move around your mask and create keyframes. So I'm gonna click a keyframe for the position, rotation and scale. It's not completely necessary to hit all three, but if you're doing fine tuning, it's probably best to hit all three to start. If you're not familiar with keyframes, it basically just tells your footage, I want it to look this way at this point in time of the video clip. So the video is now locked to this look the entire time. And I'm going to go over to where the clip begins and as you can see it's kind of the mask isn't where it should be So again, I'm going to add more keyframes with this plus button and the diamond add a keyframe for all three And all I'm going to do is click and drag this over to make sure it fits and now that is locked there And you can continue to kind of go through your video clip and fine-tune it and move your mask around to where you're happy with it But if I play it through it looks pretty good It moves with the bars looking great. Now I'm going to add a quick little fade in and fade out for this clip because it kind of just jumps in out of nowhere. So I'm gonna hover over where I want the fade in to stop. Below all your masking options, there is the compositing section which we used before. So you're gonna wanna hit the keyframe button at this point and move to the beginning of the clip. Add another keyframe, except this time, I'm gonna bring the opacity all the way down. That way it blends in nicely, just like so. And we'll do the same thing with the end of the clip. So right there is good. I'm gonna add a keyframe at 100% for the opacity. And I'm using my arrow keys to go frame by frame to the right, right before it disappears. So there we go, that's the last frame. Adding a keyframe, bringing the opacity all the way down. So now if you play the entire clip, it'll fade in, moves with the bars, and fades out. So there you go, that's a quick guide of how to use and create masks in Final Cut Pro. Make sure you check out filtergrade.com for all the best Photoshop actions, Lightroom presets, Capture One styles, After Effects templates, and video LUTs.